What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. We are obviously working on our Japanese Iron Man playthrough and right now we have obviously all of Canada, we have all of the US, we have all of Iran, all of India, all of China, and all of Vietnam, Australia. You get the picture, the Japanese Empire is absolutely huge. But what's cool about that is, as you can see, we have a surplus of pretty much every resource except Chromium, which is the only one we actually need. <laughs> but uh, we are obviously putting all of our factories, all of our resources to good use. Eventually, I want all of these to be repaired, but it is going to take some time. Rather than building up all of our civilian factories, it might be better to start working on, you know, repairing um, anything and everything. I did go ahead and I created a bunch of forts here in Iran. Not only are they, oh, I lied, I thought they were in mountains, but they are actually in some mountains, but mostly hills. Now the idea is I'm gonna build up a very powerful, like Maginot style line. And I'm hoping that we can basically have an entire division of, you know, motorized and uh, mechanized and obviously modern tanks just plow their way through all of Siberia. The idea though is we are going to become we are going to accumulate a ton of extra steel, a ton of extra chromium. With all of all those new resources, we can eventually just accumulate and accumulate and basically remove the German Reich. But I'm thinking, uh, can I declare war on the German Reich. I'm not going to do it right now. I just have no idea if it's even possible. Obviously, we're going to have to fight Italy as well. Um, can I default map mode? This is, uh, I keep clicking the wrong thing all the time. Okay, I don't think it's possible. Um, I can't leave because we're currently in a war. And call an ally into war leave faction not allowed when fighting the war together so i'm guessing what's going to happen is i'm going to take advantage of this situation while the german reich fails to absolutely take over all of the uk um we are going to try our best to just build up as many modern tanks as possible build up as many mechanized as possible we now have 2000 which is not a lot but it's obviously much more than what we had before we do need to repair all of these buildings as much as we can, and I'm starting to even wonder, um, maybe even moving all of these to the top might not be a bad idea. And like I said, all of our factory repairs are going to be going a lot better because we have obviously gotten the focus to improve all of our factories. All of these repairs need to be constructed, not only giving better industry and infrastructure, but uh, giving us quite a few bonuses as well. <laughs> These are so many factories, oh my goodness. And it's maybe not a bad idea to move those up again. Everything should be constructed fairly quickly. Wow, eight military bases inside Maryland that are being repaired. Engineering companies have been unlocked. Can we get better recon? Yes, we can. Can we now get better logistics companies? Yes, we can. Maybe signal companies wouldn't be too bad either. And eventually, I would like to improve my air doctrines. And obviously, taking over Bermuda. Oh, which is already completed. Perfect. Let's actually uh, build up a level 10 base here inside Bermuda. Let's build a level 5 coastal fort. This is going to be my floating fortress. I need a level 6 radar station and I guess I'm going to get a level 10 airbase. I don't know if I need a level 10 airbase. Maybe like a level 7. Eh, I guess level 10. Okay, I also need to build up level 10 infrastructure. And the idea is obviously getting a floating fortress and I'm going to be very, very upset if we lose Bermuda, <laughs> when obviously the war with the UK is over. Looking at our naval battles, we are doing very, very well. Uh, I've, oh, you know what? That was from a while ago. Well, we are obviously outproducing all of the German Reich. We have about 50% more production, which makes me wonder... 
you know, they have 720 divisions. I have no idea how many we have. We have 5 million troops in the field. I have no idea how many they have. They actually are on total mobilization. So their recruitable population is very low. They are on all adults serve, which makes me wonder how much lower their actual population is. In the meantime, our population should continue to spike because we aren't really producing any units. When I say spike, uh, it's going to go up very, very little, maybe like 10,000 every year. So maybe not that great. <laughs> Naval battles have been, uh, you know, undergone. We are obviously building up Bermuda, building up their naval bases, building up the infrastructure as best as we can. We are repairing what we can as well. Do we have any resistance growth? Yes, we do. But where? We have resistance all across the U.S. We don't seem to be doing all that well. But I guess the idea is once we take place of, uh, you know, once we take care of places like Kentucky... Hmm. The idea... Why, are they all even here? 30... No, they are all still coming over. So this is why it's been taking so long. Or are we running out of con uh, convoys? We have 2,009 convoys and 1,300 are used for trade and supply. Well, here comes all of our cavalry units that we absolutely needed. And then eventually, we can finally get all of these factories repaired. Wow! We actually have atomic research, so nuclear technology. Uh, that might prove to be very useful. I wonder if we can repair that, though. A lot of factories have been sabotaged, which is very, very sad. If we could work on Florida, eventually, Georgia and, of course, Alabama should do very, very well in terms of resistance. Looking at our construction, we're still repairing quite a bit, but obviously every day that goes by, all of these are getting damaged as well. And obviously taking care of Maryland might be nice too. Norway has capitulated. I'm wondering. Yeah, they need 34 and they have 31, so this is odd. Okay, low manpower, resistance to occupation. These are going from orange to yellow, which I think is good. More and more military factories are being sabotaged. We did actually build a new naval base. So how bad is the organization? Is it really that bad? Looking at supply. It's, it's bad, but it's really not that bad. It'll get better and better. We now have a radar station, level one. I wonder how good a level 6 radar station would be. It's probably giving us control of the entire Atlantic. But like I said, all we're really doing right now is uh, trying our best to just build up our production. We are going to be unfortunately declaring war on the German Reich, all of Italy, and all of nationalist Spain. So the idea is have them wither away their manpower while we just sit back and chill, gain manpower, gain resources, gain production while we deal with the resistance growth. And, uh, you know, people are moving across Kentucky and all of these other areas, so don't get me wrong. Uh, they are going to be doing better and better over time. Or at least supposedly. Our resistance is growing across the U.S. <laughs> Not what I wanted to see. California still having some issues. Though Canada seems to be doing quite well. And you know what? I could easily fix all of that by adding maybe, you know, three more units of cavalry. But the reason why I don't is I don't want to waste manpower. I've only got about 2.10 million left. And the idea, though, is like I said, build up as many modern tanks as possible. Build up as many mechanized as possible. And I think what I'm going to do is these are going to be my last units. And looking at the divisions somewhere... Where's my... Do I have paratroopers? No, I don't. Where's my cheapest division? Let's take all of these, duplicate. We are going to create a heavy tank division. Let's save this and basically give you engineering companies, recon. I know it was already there. I just like to switch the order. Let's give you, actually, maintenance companies first because I like to switch the order. Um, logistics and signal companies. 
all of you will now be heavy tanks, or better yet, modern tanks. So we have modern tanks, we now have modern tanks, we now have mechanized, 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 and mechanized. And I guess because we can, either motorized rocket arc, no, 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 we don't need those anymore. What we need are the motorized SP artillery, which we don't have a lot of. Uh, actually, I don't even know if we have much at all. Can we add? No, I was going to add rocket artillery, but we don't even have those. Okay, so we are going to build one of those. Can we add more? Hmm. What if we removed one and added modern SP artillery? So now we've saved modern tanks. And because we're going to be producing so many mechanized, I guess we'll just get more. Okay, let's save this. We now have our heavy tank division, which we are going to change the icon. I always like this lightning bolt. I don't know why. Okay, heavy tanks. And I want about 72. I highly doubt I'm going to have that many. Definitely not. Let's even make more than 72. Let's make... 120. <laughs> okay, how how far behind... Oh my god. It says it's going to take 918 days to make this many mechanized. I highly doubt it's going to be that long. Uh, we don't have any... Hmm, that doesn't make sense. Did we make modern tanks or heavy tanks? Heavies. Those need to be changed. Modern, modern, modern. This is modern, modern, modern. Okay, so we don't need any heavy tanks at all. We need 25,000 light tanks, so 1,416 days. And obviously, modern SP artillery is nowhere near what we need. Uh, let's do this. I don't know if that would even change it. Basically, what I was going to do was switch these to rocket artillery. Uh, I don't think that's even that great either. We would save a lot of modern tanks. But we need a lot of modern SP artillery, and we don't have it. Looking at our production, we're going to have a lot of mechanized. Can this be modern SP artillery? This go back to modern tank. That didn't change anything at all. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, save. I could remove one. Yeah, I'm not even going to do that. Okay, so what do we need? 49,000 mechanized. It should only last 1,009 days, but obviously we are nowhere near peak efficiency. The goal is to repair a lot of military factories. Everybody should do a lot better. 27,000 modern tanks. This is going to have to be changed sometime soon. This is going to take 1,500 days and 12,000 days. Okay, we definitely don't have the capacity can we, is there a way to save any chromium? I don't know. We're, list, we're missing 113. Can we trade for any? Uh, it says we're using 510. Yes, we could get 54 more from Cuba. And now we're missing 59. We can get some from Turkey. Well, that was easy. We can get 28 more from Turkey. I think I would like all of it. Okay, well, we now have 33 chromium. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Um, let's actually change you. I'm going to delete you. And you are going to create me more modern SP artillery. And I guess we're going to destroy you as well. Let's create more modern SP artillery. You know what? We don't have enough chromium. So that was probably not a good idea. Can I get more? Probably not. But I could actually change up some labor laws. Um, looking at the resource map mode. It says I'm getting all of the resources from the U.S., but it doesn't really feel like it. I don't see any chromium inside the U.S. A lot of it's coming from Cuba. We're, we're getting 120 right now. Um, is there chromium? It, South Africa would be... Oh, if I did a naval invasion of South Africa, uh, I would easily, easily be able to secure uh, all of the chromium needs that I obviously need. Um, I wonder, can I do any naval invasions from anywhere else? Is this too far? No. 
which is odd. Let's send you here. And it's going to take 28 days. Do I have... We lack sufficient intel in all of those provinces. Well, I guess that makes sense. Can I even make my way down there? Probably not. I would probably need to secure access... Like, island hop, I guess. Um, let's do this. Let's create a new naval invasion. All I need is some sort of port. Can I go here? See, this whole place is one big territory. Uh, that's probably too far. What is this? This is owned by Portugal. Can I take Free France territory? This is not a valid province for an invasion. I beg to differ. All of our Marines are going to remove the UK, the Netherlands, and Free France. And do we lack intel? Probably. And the Demera Plain says we are losing convoys. I don't know if I like that. Why did my units never arrive? Yeah, all 17 of these units never arrived, but I guess that's fine. The idea now is the Caribbean, the Demera Plain, and I'm guessing Cape Verde, because I have nothing else to do. And all we're going to do is use our carriers and use our light cruisers to protect our convoys. And it looks like the Mediterranean is still controlled by the U.S. Or, excuse me, by Allies forces. Allied forces. We are doing a lot of repairs. Or at least I believe so. Still working on some civilian factories. Military police have been unlocked, which means the resistance will go down. Um, I'm guessing better signal companies now, or better yet, let's make our way towards better carrier battle groups. 100 days will give us better carriers. At least more organization. And yes, we are still once again repairing our factories and failing miserably. How is the resistance coming along? It's negative one, so it's not bad. Um, is there anything I could do to make this better? Yes, there is. Wow. We have lost all of our manpower. Do we have enough manpower? So we have enough manpower, but barely. Well, that's odd. <laughs> All right, well, I guess no more switching those around. Can I look at my military police? Add more suppression. How much manpower? 13,500 is going to go away. 140,000. Is this going to change substantially? I guess we'll find out. Not by a lot. And the amount of suppression that is basically being changed is phenomenal. And you know what I could do, is I could take some of these units, which I absolutely don't need. Let's take half of these guys, put them all the way down here, and switch them all to military police. Your goal is to garrison here, 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 here. <gasps> All of these places, I get that we probably don't need that. Well, it says we need 25, and here comes 18. But obviously, we are going to uh, not be that bad, because there are obviously people on California already. That number has now gone down to 16, and we have 18. So I think we are going to be fine. I would really like all of their resources. And is there anything else that I can do? We've run out of manpower, but I guess when we have 150 political power... We are going to switch from service by requirement to all adults serve. And we we are at war. Estimated enemy strength ratio of 75% or more. So we can't change yet. So, but luckily we aren't really using any... Well, maybe we are using manpower. This number is diminishing. I wonder why. It says in the fields is increasing. I don't know. All of these units have full manpower. At least I think so. 16,100 per division. Well, there goes all of my uh, manpower. I'm guessing they all went to my... Ooh, we have Chromium again. I'm guessing they all went to all of my military police. Which will probably gain even more power in just a moment. 
Can all of these motorized be switched over to military police? Yes, they can. We're going to gain 54,000 manpower, so it's not a lot. Well, there they all go. Uh, and we don't have anything to do except basically garrison all of these areas. There's no way that there's going to be any type of naval invasion from the UK. Uh, obviously, we are protecting with our navy. New Mexico and Kansas need to be dealt with. Everything else is being repaired. Resistance to occupation in California. This is very, very annoying. Well, uh, if we go to our default map mode, all of these places are being garrisoned. So it's not like it's really all that bad. All of these come down. We haven't garrisoned anything. So these go here. I think Kansas. That's not Kansas. This is Kansas. Hopefully we can fix up those issues. We are now down to zero manpower once again, and our political power is going down, obviously due to our occupation. And we are obviously uh, occupying anything and everything. I wonder if we go all the way down to the US, it looks like they're on harshest, but what about the Dominion of Canada? I could move that to harshest as well. Not only would we lose, we don't we don't gain all of their manpower, but we gain all of their resources, which might be useful. Looking at the resistance, I don't see any in Canada. Yes, I do. But they're moving up. Well, it is what it is. Uh, once California is dealt with, I'm sure New Mexico will be dealt with soon enough, and Idaho. All of our factories are being repaired. I do want to finally use all of this chromium. Uh, and we could probably get more modern SP artillery. And there goes all of our chromium. All of those need to be repaired to the best of their ability. And don't get me wrong, they're being worked on just very, very slowly. Everything is being repaired 100% faster. And the only real issue now is California. But I'm guessing here comes six units of military police. Taking a quick glance, we have 49,000 motorized. So we obviously have a huge surplus of those. Um, potentially putting in some motorized, we would lose a lot of manpower. Where are you? Looking at our heavy tank. We could switch one of these out to motorized to at least just use them. Um, and you know what? We're still producing motorized. So I'm wondering, instead of producing motorized because we don't need it at all, maybe switching over to mechanized, we would lose steel. Do we have a surplus of chromium? Not really. Let's switch over to mechanized because I have so many. Um, I just don't need them. Wow. It says needed for reinforcements. 46,000. Oh, that's probably why. Um, yep. 714 days is what's going to be required. Supposedly, 1,354 days for our modern tanks. And supposedly, 1,167 days for our modern SP artillery. If we had more chromium, things would be easier, but we don't. We are repairing what we can, uh, getting what we can. Can I? Yeah, I just... Once these are repaired, we're going to not have enough chromium. Can I trade anybody? So, uh, you know what? Remember, we were trying to go for South Africa. Here comes my naval invasion. The idea is to launch a new naval invasion from South America to South Africa, or maybe take some of these islands. Are we even going to be successful? It doesn't look like it. If we don't, I will cry. These are only French troops. Why are they not working? 91% of the way there. It says it's only going to last 10 days. I was hoping it would go better. Five more days. Can we win this fight? Research available once again. Let's finally get our decryption. We have definitely been neglecting that. Maybe potentially countering uh, enemy tactics might be our best option. 
I am really, really hoping that we can take this province. Then we could get a left we could get a new naval base, and the idea would be able to obviously island jump all the way to South Africa, and then getting our chromium. Wow! Have we really failed this naval invasion? I am so disappointed in all of our troops. Now obviously they now lack manpower because they are marines and we don't have any. Um, what were they? Yeah, they were all marines with some light tanks for some breakthrough. And we still couldn't land there. Like, I just don't understand naval invasions. Like, they just don't work. At least very well. Well, we're out of political power. Everything is being repaired, or at least better than before. We are lacking chromium. But it should only be about 900 days until we have modern SP artillery. We have 1,290 days for our modern artillery. And I'm guessing, yeah, without the chromium, it's going to be very, very challenging. Nobody has any chromium to sell us except for South Africa. Um, they have, wow, almost 200. So if I could have all of that, I would be definitely set, definitely good to go. But I have no way to get there. I mean, maybe I could go from here to there. That is actually not a bad plan. Do I have any troops not doing anything? Kind of. Oh, you know what? Can I set you guys up for a naval invasion? Probably not. I doubt it. Zero divisions will be assigned because they're not mine. Nope, can't do that. Um, let's see here. We are looking for basically regular divisions that aren't doing anything. All of these Marines have obviously landed. Maybe switching everybody up might not be a bad idea. These guys can activate, and once they take over this island, we are probably going to move them to the Maldives. Ah, uh, yes, once again, still lacking manpower. How much manpower are we missing? Will it tell us? I don't know. Can we take this island? New Caledonia. Recon companies have been unlocked. Like I said, we are going to work on our decryption. We got decryption 1, now decryption 2. Side channel attack. And I need the Chromium in South Africa. So I'm guessing what I'll do is I'll combine all of our Marines for one additional invasion. But because we don't have uh, any type of, um, you know, actual success chance, with zero manpower, I don't know how well this will work. Okay, now that we've landed, you will go here looking for New Caledonia, which I don't even see. Here it is, about to land. And we have gained a new island. Or better yet, we have liberated it for Vichy, France. Shit. Still haven't gotten this island, but I don't Shit. really care enough for it. All of you okay. are now going to do a naval invasion from the Maldives. And if we can, to um, South Africa. Let's actually combine Shit. everybody. Jumpyos. And then have everybody go from the Maldives to South Africa. Okay, we are going to have to give you a very powerful field marshal. Let's give you this guy. That way we know we won't lose. And it says it's going to be 140 days. Can we get our fleet here? Yes, we can. I'll move them eventually. The idea is going to be... Uh, secure this area, secure this area, and this area. Uh, we're going to need to do three areas. Uh, but because we're already securing this area, I guess if we take our fleet, secure the Southwest Indian Ocean, the Mozambique Channel, and the C Cape of Africa, we should easily be able to land in South um, uh, Africa and then secure all of that delicious chromium. But every month that goes by, I guess our demand for chromium isn't necessarily uh, as bad as it used to be. I mean, don't get me wrong, our demand isn't as bad, but the shortage is obviously going down. And obviously, every month that goes by, our new land doctrines are being researched, so now all of our motorized and mechanized now get more organization. 
Our tanks get more organization, and they have better recovery rate. So it's really not that bad. I have a lot of steel that we still haven't really used. And it, I don't even know if we really need civilian factories anymore. Let's move these down to... not. I don't want to cancel it, just move them down to one. And the reasoning for that is eventually we'll probably make, again, uh, you know, a bunch of military factories. I don't know what exactly we're going to use them for. Probably more mechanized, <laughs> because I have nothing better to do. Pump out as many as we can here inside Tasmania, inside all of these islands, inside the Philippines, inside New Zealand. So we're going to be making a lot, that is for sure. Um, it's going to take a while to build, but because we actually have a lot of civilian factories, it might not be that long. And I'm willing to bet that with my production, I could easily annihilate anything they try to throw at us. And with all this extra chromium, it probably won't be that bad. You know, because then I could obviously produce more modern tanks, then I'll finally have a surplus. I mean, right now we're producing almost 120. If I could get more political power, um, I would obviously do very, very well. But I don't know how. There's no silent workhorse as far as I'm concerned. Actually, yes, we already have the silent workhorse. <laughs> and he has certainly paid himself off. Okay, all 40 of these units are making their way over. It's going to be 21 out of 140 days, so there is a little bit ways to go. Let's improve this naval base just a little bit up to level 3. And if we can, I'm guessing getting it another infrastructure might not be all that bad. Well, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. In our next episode, we are going to invade South Africa and then obviously take a quick glance at all of their resources. They've got about 180 chromium, maybe even 200. About 200 chromium uh, would obviously be very, very beneficial. That means I could finally use the rest of my steel, use all of my oil. Well, thank you all for joining me. I hope you all have an awesome day, and I will see you in our next adventure.